All right, coming up next, a good welterweight matchup here between Michael Bisping and Anderson Silva. All right, so here he is, the former UFC middleweight champion, Anderson Silva. The pro record doesn't look like it did a few years ago, DC, but most people still inject the name Anderson Silva into the discussion of the greatest MMA fighters of all time. It's because Anderson is doing us a favor every time he steps foot in the octagon. He could have walked away and protected the record, but the lure, the draw of fighting, still is pulling at the spider. And every time he walks in there, we're getting the witness greatness. You feel it when Anderson Silva walks up the steps. I remember staring across the octagon and going, hold the cow. That's Anderson Silva, and he has that approach. He has that appeal to everyone that gets in front of him, not only in the octagon, but in life. One of the nicest guys you've ever met is Anderson Silva. And a renewed focus on recovery and physical therapy has allowed the great Anderson Silva to compete deep into his 40s, DC. You ain't going 45. I'm not There's going no way. 45. I ain't You're no out. chance. You're going to voice a video game. I'm going to voice a video game. <laughs> what a great idea. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing to It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Silva is eight years his senior. He will have a two inch reach advantage. To get us started with Ladies the official introductions, here is Bruce is Buffer. The main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former USC middleweight champion of the world, Anderson, the spider. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Michael the Cat. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. Ready. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. If you hate any fighter on this UFC roster is specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5-2 player. 
When you see a guy in a striker who knows exactly who he is, he knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Flush right hand is true. Bisping gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice, nice kick landed by the gentleman. Check these low leg kicks. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Big kick lands. Three minutes to go here, round one. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Nice body kick. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Big kick land. Ball straight right. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Big leg kick land. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Trump. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's tipping high. And now he's got to hurt bad. Oh, man. This guy kicks like a mule. So hard. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, man. He could be hit with one of those knees to the body. Ten seconds to go in the round. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are gonna really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Visibly limping here. There's no kill on that leg kick. Massive head kick. Oh, big right hand. And now he lands a combination. Knee to the body. Big kick land. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Bisbee. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa. How he lands those beautiful leg kicks, low wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight.
What a punch. Look at how he turns his hip. Oh. He just started looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. An uppercut in. Oh. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the clock. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big head kick lands. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 20 seconds left. Yes! Beautiful body. Looks like his leg is mercy and lifting a little bit. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's get to the replays from that previous round, and you gotta think they plucked that flying knee. Oh, it was beautiful. It was great to see someone be this free in the octagon. See an opening, take anything that shows itself. That flying knee was perfectly timed and landed beautifully. Third round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any strength. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds him a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice. Trying the flying knee there. Oh, oh, thunderous man. leg kick rounds his opponent trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strength. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt already. Get back. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hooked. Wow, what a kick! Oh, big elbow. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent, trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Nice kick. Big head kick land. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Michael Bisping retreating here. His leg is hurt here, you can see it. Kick lands. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. Big leg kick land. Whoa. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. Back to the feet. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's sort of hanging out here on guard, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 15 seconds to go. Right hand. Good punch. 
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. So his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over. And gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. This is the where as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Very nice leg kick there by Silva. He's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Big kick. Change the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Single collar tie now. Oh, here we go. Big punch land. Ooh. Right hand upstairs. change the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. The combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that. Oh! Oh! oh shoot, the fight, the score! How's this going? I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Tries the flying knee to no avail. A little single collar tie there. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed, put his opponent down. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. Beautiful kick. Lands another strike to the body, really strong. Wanting to pile up his body shots here on the ladder. Spike. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. This fight's gonna be over for What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his punch, low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen.
seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So a big win for him here tonight and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, five seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Michael the Count Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you gotta think this dude's gonna get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's gonna get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.